Hello again, this is Father Erasmus for the weekly message. And it is a joy to be standing here in our church as we are approaching the beautiful feast of the Nativity of the Lord Christmas, that is. And I'm here next to the beautiful hand carved uh, from olive trees of Bethlehem, the beautiful hand carved by the brother Zacharias, which are a family that lives in Bethlehem, a Christian family. And when I went there with a group of parishioners several years ago, we decided to get this for the community to support the local economy there so that Christians can stay in Bethlehem and not to be forced to leave away, but also to have something from wood from Bethlehem and workers from Bethlehem so that we have a special scene here in our church. I thank, of course, the Pandelidis family who graciously uh, offered and donated the cost of this beautiful um, nativity scene. And as I stand here I, and I decide to do the video, I'm thinking about the memories. Of course, I believe that each one of you have memories of Christmas at their home and of opening gifts and spending time with family and how years go by. I myself took some time the last few days to look over this scene here because sometimes we buy it and then of course it gets forgotten and we do not appreciate things the way they are. But truly I, I admire the hand carving and the little small pieces that are here um, that with love and care people uh, offered these things to the glory of God and to the upbuilding of our church. And therefore, these are some of the thoughts that come to my mind. Uh, the images that we have during this holy period of Christmas, uh, sometimes the images of people, loved ones, who are not with us anymore, but also are some of the people who are in our lives, but we have grown older and we might have forgotten these people and not appreciate these things. How true sometimes with teenagers, but there are parents who offer the gifts and they become teenagers and forget to be appreciative of all the gifts and all the good things that we have offered. Of course, as we think about these things, we have to think about the night here in Bethlehem where Jesus Christ came down from heavens and was born in a cold night in a cave and was laid in a manger. Of course, now we have beautiful scenes and we glorify God by all of this so that we can be saved. It is important that as the feasts come in that we reflect on these um, thoughts, that we do not allow the feast to go by with us being moved. The evil one does a great job on that. We get all get caught up in running around, buying gifts and visiting people and, and shopping. And maybe this year things are different because of the coronavirus and some uh, restrictions that we have. But the bottom line is, is that uh, the number one memory we should all have is being close to God, being close to the presence of holiness, being close to the warmth that God fills us, the peace that He gives us in our heart. These are things that we should not take for granted. And therefore, as I have taken time to look with detail at this beautiful gift of love from the Pandalides families, this beautiful gift of love from those who live in Bethlehem, this beautiful gift of love for the parishioners that went with me to the, on the pilgrimage to the Holy Land, and even the gift of love of the olive trees in which this was carved. May we take these beautiful images into our heart God speaks to us every day in the silence of the little miracles. I believe this is a little miracle. And of course, I believe Holy Cross is a big miracle in our lives. And of course, the biggest of all miracles is that God loves us and he has come down to take care of us and forgive us our sins and bring us to salvation and to his kingdom. As we celebrate Christmas, I pray that we are close to our families and I pray that we are close to the Holy Cross family, and I pray that we are close to Christ. May God be with you. I pray that we all have a healthy and blessed Christmas, and may we always rejoice in the blessings that we have. Amen.